a wide boning exercise is a simple think aloud exercise it is never never about perfection or the result what are my assumptions what will i do if there is some time how will my users give all the relevant permissions i'll put some illustrations over here in terms of how posture correction will happen maybe i'll make this like a carousel on the screen that is what i call as first time user experience ftue and that is what i am putting over here okay hey, what's a white boarding exercise so how do people do white boarding and all the stuff so let me also give some more context uh so whenever you sit for interviews okay what happens is people they want to quickly judge how you think okay very important how you think is a very important word okay it's not about judging how quickly can you produce results no a simple question they have is let me just see how this person thinks okay only for only they have that question they'll introduce this exercise called white boarding exercise what does it mean simple the name already tells what it is you have a white board either physical or digital a blank board you are given a problem statement and you are asked to go and write down how is it that you will solve the problem right a white boarding exercise is a simple think aloud exercise of you showing to other people to the recruiters how is it that you will think how is it that you will solve a problem your approach towards solving a problem it is not about will you produce a very good result by the end of that white boarding exercise because a simple white boarding exercise sitting for one hour will not give results then why are ux designers being hired they could have been consulted just for one hour and uh, they can leave no <laughs> right the reason why it have worked for months and months and years in a company is because problems will take time but what they can do is they can judge you how you think in the one hour they spend with you therefore again and again white boarding exercises are meant clearly meant to understand how you think explain to other people how is it that you think and your approach towards solving a problem but not about producing a perfect result at the end of the white boarding exercise the next thing it's it's absolutely not even about what is there present on the white board let me tell you that's the irony of white boarding exercises it's generally never about what's present on the white board it's generally about what's there in your brain the next point is the process i would follow in a white boarding exercise is dependent on how much time i have for the exercise if i have only half an hour i'll only do that much which is possible in half an hour if i have one hour i'll only do that much which is possible in one hour white boarding exercise is not about perfection it is never never about perfection or the result you are not judged based on how neat your white board is you are not judged in terms of how well your wireframes are coming on your on your white board they can be very rough all you have to do is explain what is that which is happening over there it's generally about how is it that you are thinking and how are you thinking aloud that's it therefore every moment of whatever you're doing in a white boarding exercise you have to continuously keep on speaking out your thoughts okay i'll give you one uh, quick reference a quick way to understand white boarding i'll tell you even more relatable stuff suddenly in your house all groceries are over some guests are coming what you will do you'll simply get to the white board and roughly you will just do a complete dump on what kind of what do you want what you are uh, you know guests might need how many people are coming you'll just do a quick brainstorming and try to solve that problem on the white board right because even at those those times the white boarding exercise is not for literally about the result of that white board but mostly it's about you sorting out your thoughts in terms of how do i go and solve the problem when guests are coming right that board is actually acting as a, a way for you to put down your thoughts and express yourself to other people over there right that's the heart of a white boarding exercise right okay so i'll quickly show you how to do okay so usually you are given let's say this is his white board now lots of problem statement we'll pick so um, create a smartphone app to measure and track its users posture looking down at your phone places enormous strain on the 
spine and can result in head neck and arm pain and numbness okay this is the problem statement okay we'll do a time check and i'll see how much ever i can push and quickly explain this process to you but mostly i'll involve all of you i'll keep telling what i'm trying to do over there so you keep referring back to those postulates which i have given you okay and you can consider this as a workshop so let's say the company has given this problem statement to me and said that hey anudeep so this is a problem statement you get the next half an hour to quickly do a whiteboarding exercise along with us okay to you know solve this problem and understand how is it that you will think so go ahead anudeep please the board is yours okay thank you i am very privileged to be a part of your esteemed company <laughs> all that and then okay so i am looking at the problem statement right now so it says create a smartphone app to measure and track the user's posture okay i am reading the statement again to understand what this means create a smartphone app okay you want me to build an app not a website or you know a bigger kind of a product it must be an app i'm wondering why only an app but let me come back to the thought later to measure and track its users posture okay i can see it has something to do about the posture of users and it also has to do about measuring and tracking their posture a lot of assumptions coming into my mind but i'll get back to my assumptions but maybe i think i kind of understood what the problem statement means i'm going down and reading my details looking down at your phone places enormous strain on the spine and it can result to head neck and arm pain and numbness okay here you have presented an observation most probably this is coming from some research which you might already done about understanding the behaviors in terms of how is that people you know uh behave when they are actually looking at your phone you're also saying looking down which i note down here right so you're also giving some things like it presses an enormous strain and you're also stating where all you're saying spine head neck and arm so most probably it is coming from some data either you might have done some research or i assume that you have got it from the internet from some secondary data right so i'll go ahead with the assumption right now that this is a valid source of information right and then you also say that the measurements could be done via tracking the smartphone's tilt using the device built in inclinometers okay so what i assume from this is you are saying that you are getting to a little bit of solution of the technical details of how i could possibly solve this problem and you are saying smartphones usually have this smartphone tilt which is usually calculated and you are saying that it can be tracked it has some built in inclinometers and the relevant technology to actually measure and track how the smartphone is being used so i assume that there is a a reasonable amount of information with us which relates to the inclination or the movement of the smartphone to the behavior of a person which you have represented in the above statement okay very good so let me quickly write down all the assumptions which i have just stated right now right so most probably that you know this is an app need not be a website or a full fledged product okay why is something we'll get back okay this is about user posture user posture okay and i have a question here in terms of posture doing what using this app or other apps okay we'll get back to that okay so i have a behavior which is stated over here okay so okay i have one behavior over here okay most probably this came assumption that this came from proper source okay most probably this is secondary research data or they you you know the company must have done some 
primary research okay right now the assumption is that i will take this to be true that people in fact will you know do have strain in these places because i feel that it's coming from a proper source if only i had time i would go and understand these behaviors from my users i'll put relevant questions i'll target those people who people who use uh you know probably i'll go target people probably around um, you know ages 20 to uh, 35 because my assumption is that those that is the age when people use a lot of smartphone right uh have smartphones and also take an assumption that you know uh use phone for more than 4 hours a day okay so what i'll probably do if at all i have time is i'll target these kinds of people however the targeting mechanism we have i'll do that and i'll kind of prepare few questions based on you know how is it that they are actually what kind of apps they are using what is that they would do do they experience any pain do what is their medical conditions and all this stuff to go and get some primary research in terms of behaviors to actually go and validate the statement for now i'm going ahead with this assumption okay anyway let me just take a pause here guys do you see every small thought everything i have not shut my mouth until even once every assumption every thought every question i have been continuously talking talking and talking all of you could literally understand how i am thinking right there is no gap between what i am thinking versus what you know about what i am thinking there is no gap and all of you could also appreciate that i am going to the depths of understanding this problem what are my assumptions what will i do if there is some time all of you able to understand and look at how the board is it's very rough it's not neat right that's the point the point is again not about making a very neat document also you got it okay let's continue okay now taking these assumptions so let me quickly go and define some problems in terms of what users might usually face over here so uh, because i don't have time to do this research right now i'll make some assumptions okay so let me define problems related to uh posture while using apps okay so while i define these problems let me just look at i'm looking at the problem statement to just to have some clarity so a smartphone app to measure okay so most probably as it as i told this sorry i will make an app okay that's another assumption which i'm going to put over here before i define my problems an app which will run in the background because what will i do with my current app when it is actually checking my posture i think it can do even without me using that app because who would want to go and use an app just to check if their posture is right because i assume right now that people would be very conscious this might lead to some kind of a observer bias or some related to hathron effect that the app is already observing me therefore they wouldn't use the same app to check if their posture is right or not so an intelligent thing would be to make this app run in the background while using other apps okay enough what are the problems people might usually have okay so probably people use a lot of social media to which they are book to which makes them not really think a lot about their posture okay my assumption is that the social media uh, be it facebook whatsapp or instagram reels or uh, these uh, videos will make you completely engrossed you know they get you engaged and engrossed into the platform that you forget about yourself okay 
so this is what i'll assume is most people's problem over here okay again i'm reiterating the point that these are my assumptions right now if at all i had time i would have actually researched but since i don't have time right now i am stating these assumptions with the lack of research okay now what else can be another problem related to the posture okay i'm also like i'll also write people tend to use smartphones usually after getting on to the bed okay and spend a lot of time there and i guess that their hands and neck pain because of the artificial uh way of handling the phone on uh the bed okay that's one more thing and then okay i also see that from your observation you're saying looking down on your phone so it can also happen that my use it also happen that my users use the phone while walking or doing physical activities as well and usually their head is in downwards position and for a long period of time okay this this might cause the uh whatever we have defined here as the medical problems above mentioned medical problems okay okay very good so here with the limited time i have i could define some problems which i feel the users of whom we are targeting might be facing okay so okay now the next i will do is i'll try and define some opportunities about how i can solve this problems through an app so that i can get to some solutioning over here okay okay very good hmm now since my app will only run in background i'll have to make sure that users understand that the app will run in the background and i also also have to make sure that i take the all the appropriate permissions from them okay so what i'll do is uh i'll also go and try and make some assumption that people would want to people who whom this app is targeted for would want to solve the problem for themselves right or else it won't work because it's not about just about i don't think the problem is just about to track their users posture but i'll also assume and expand this based on statement that create a smartphone app to measure and track users posture and give users solutions to correct their postures um you know time to time so i am redefining my problem statement over here because here it only discusses about tracking postures but i feel it's also important to go and give them a solution to go and solve their problem okay so uh so they would want to solve this uh problem for themselves right so now that i have certain ways in which people are facing the problem let me go and present some ideas in terms of how is it that i can i, I can let the app correct people in these situations and also make sure and also one more point which i told is so i let's literally write it down the first step i'll do is how will i make sure people know about how my app works okay how will my users give all the relevant permissions how will i make my users go and correct if there are any problems 
found with their posture. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll try to answer these three questions while I am generating ideas so that I have some direction in terms of I can go with the app. Maybe a lot of stuff can be done. Maybe a lot of things can be done in terms of tracking the postures or solving their problems. But for now, with the time I have right now, I'll scope it down to whatever this is. Right? Again, just a pause, guys. See, it's been 15 minutes and you also already see how much I have thought about this problem statement, how I'm understanding these users, how I'm defining. If you also see, I'm applying the design thinking process here, right? I'm putting an effort to understand their users. I'm putting their assumptions. I'm trying to define what kind of problems they have. And I'm also getting to the solutioning already by saying that, hey, you know what? These are the three directions in which I'll solve the problems. I've also redefined my problem statement over here. See, all this happened just in 15 minutes, right? And how many of you already have a judgment about, oh my God, this guy can think very well. Are you able to get this judgment already? Right? So the magic is not happening because I'm trying to give perfect ideas here. No, all I did is I'm applying the process, but I'm thinking out loud everything what I'm doing. That's a secret, nothing, right? I'm not doing anything else. I've not done any great things here. These are all very obvious assumptions, which you can also make. None of this, this is very obvious, no? Social media things are they're putting their head down literally because they gave it in their problem statement that they're looking down. I, I told it three times, giving them a hint that yes, I take your data seriously. I read the problem statement very seriously. I give attention to my details. All those hints I'm giving to them by reading that and telling that three and four times, right? By going and adding to their problem statement, I'm giving a hint to them saying that I'm not just so dumb that I'll only do whatever you are asking me to do. I'll also add stuff and tell what makes better sense for your company, right? All this I could do in 15 minutes, right? So, okay. So now, so now that we have scoped out, so now that I have scoped out that uh, I'll do these things. So quickly I'll put my ideas in set of a uh, few screens. Let's say I have a screen over here, sitting over here. Okay. So let me go and see how will I make sure people know about how my app works. Right now, I'm not going to focus on how people are going to sign up, log in and all this stuff because I'm going to keep it very generic. Instead, for sign up, I'm going to simply use this fundamental heuristic principle called consistency and standards or something called as Jacob's law, right? Because I don't want to reinvent how a sign in or sign up process works. So I'm just going to write down that sign up or sign in would be very similar to multiple apps out there. Okay. So now I'm going to reinvent the wheel and I'm going to put this thing over here. Okay. And I have my reasoning here as well. Now, let me just go to directly to how it is that I'm going to onboard or the first time users start using my app, what will I do? And that is what I call as first time user experience FTUE. And that is what I am putting over here. Right. So I said, let me, even before making the screens, the idea I'm getting is let me just quickly write down some of the steps, what I'll do. So make sure people know about how my app works. Okay. So let's say there is uh, one screen about, uh, you know, the benefits of using this app in terms of first uh, what inputs the app takes and what results the app gives. Okay. That's what I'll do in my first screen, which will make sure that it sets a context to my next screen, which is going to be about asking for system permissions. Okay, so I'll go to the next steps later. For now, let me quickly mock this out. Okay, so what input the app takes? So let's say I have, you know, I'll put over here that there is some welcome. Okay, there is a 
मेसेज वन लाइनर विच गिव्स द मेंटल मॉडल ऑफ द एप राइट नो आई डोंट हैव टाइम टू थिंक अबाउट दिस वन लाइनर but most probably i'll work with the research team and most probably the marketing team to come up with this one liner which can instantly tell what this whole app is about in a single line and establish a good mental model and most probably i'll put it over here okay the exact position might vary because this is a rough wireframe i wouldn't even worry about where exact this line would come most probably i'll do per perform few usability tests later and then decide the exact position right okay now after i do this i will quickly write down that uh we mm -hmm. okay i'm just thinking what's a better way of discussing what input my apps take so what are can be the inputs the inputs can be that oh I, I, as i'm thinking the users need not do any physical inputs so why not simply say that you don't have to do anything you just have to use other apps and we do all the magic awesome so let me highlight the fact that there are there is literally no input necessary okay so this app automatically measures your posture while you use other apps you don't have to do anything maybe in a better manner with a better representation i will go and represent this message maybe i will break it down into two or three messages have some graphics you know are what hmm. representing these two blocks of information sitting over here okay and give a reinforcement to people that they don't have to do anything and this automatically measures you know how by they are using another app okay very good and then i want to tell about what results the app gives right by most probably what i'll do is certain illustrations i'll put over here okay i'll put some illustrations over here in terms of how posture correction will happen probably i'll uh make some cards bigger cards over here and give them solutions in terms of explain them that uh if you i'll just can take a random example here most probably the exact solutioning can come if i have more time about it but let us say uh from the problems which we have identified over here if they use a lot of social media right they are not looking about they're not thinking about their posture so i'll have that if you start using a social media you know or let us i'll use a name here instagram for more than 5 minutes we will give give you a reminder with a picture to tell you how you need to sit okay and maybe i'll cut down these lines maybe we'll explain this better by a better illustration over here but let's say this is one card which is sitting over here in the same way i'll have few other benefits which i'll explain maybe i'll make this like a carousel on the screen i'll have quick illustrations about people seeing the benefits of you know having not having the pain and all these things and being reminded about all this stuff and i'll put this over here okay so this is the idea on which um you know i will go and make my first screen let me then come to the next screen what i'm talking about is asking for system permissions okay so all i'll probably do over here is you know since i already set a context that it automatically measures all the postures so i'll just give a nice messaging over here saying that messaging about asking for 
permissions to run over other apps okay and why okay maybe i have some few illustrations or icons in terms of what all permissions and how they will help the app calculate and give me suggestions is something i might probably put over here again this is subject to whether people will spend this much time on the screen or not but most probably this is what i'll do over here so with this probably i have my second screen ready and with this i think i have told people and make sure that i understand how the app works and probably give them you know how you know give them understanding about all the relevant permissions okay there can be a set of screens over here asking for permissions but that is system permissions i, I don't think i'll have to design all that here okay here i'm thinking if i have to make sure people how the app works there is a principle which i you know not coming with a name but from my experience of working maybe an onboarding screen can only set a basic mental model of how it works but the best way it works is actually making them do a demo so what i'm thinking is to actually solve this first thing whatever i've written over here i think i'll build a quick demo so what i'll do is i will have a screen which asks them to go and open instagram open instagram right i'll have a quick wizard a wizard being uh you know a set of instructions uh so that people can quickly do those steps on an overlay so most probably what i'll do is i'll use the facebook messenger's model of uh, overlay because i already have an overlay permission over here so what i'll do is like a facebook messenger i will overlay on the messages saying that uh open instagram okay so i'll have that messenger call out what are the steps i have to do okay and say start using that for probably let's say 2 minutes okay and then i'll show that your posture is most probably let's say i have my my phone can actually calibrate how i'm standing you are looking down and walking please take a seat and spend the remaining time right and then may probably i'll send this message like a messenger overlay okay and i also let's say have one icon called tips to tips for a good posture okay i'll have this as a link probably okay so this link can probably take people to the app again where there can be a video right there can be a quick video in terms of sitting postures for instagram right probably this video also can be in an overlay so that they don't even have to completely get out of the app which they were previously using so probably i will you know just have this as an overlay and open and if they want to close this you know they can kind of close this video and come back right so in this way i can quickly give a demo in terms of how this app is going to work and this kind of solves my first time user experience and since the demo what the demo does and what my app would work like will obviously kind of be same so i can i think i have become more defined in terms of how i'm solving this problem by using like a messenger kind of a model where all the instructions of the app are coming through messages and if you click on them you can go to the actual app 
but or else you can also interact with the entire app through these messenger like interactions and still keep using the phone basing on the initial assumption which i have written that the app will run on the background and you can still use your phone doing other apps right again taking a pause 15 minutes more or maybe 10 minutes more i'm only done with my wireframes right and look at how stupid they look but look at how much you already understood about the way i think right quite amazing right you can ask the people can ask hey you know what maybe this idea won't work it's okay i'm open for those discussions but you already know how i'm thinking you know that maybe you're time saying that this probably i will think about it i'm going to test about it i'm using existing mental models i'm using existing principles i'm prioritizing what to actually to be done over here i'm always going back and referring to the problem statement i'm always going back and sticking to what i have defined that i'll probably solve right now what i have scoped all that i'm showing over here right so with that let me just complete that okay so how will i make sure users can go correct any problems if found their posture i think i have already solved the problem by actually going and showing them an overlay by checking how their position is working or not working telling them how is it that they can sit probably maybe they'll not have a time to actually go and watch a video so what i'll do is i'll make another version of this i'll make another iteration of this what i'll do is instead of playing a video this initially was a video right instead i will play quick gifs in terms of what is a possible correct posture let's say this says sit straight back straight right maybe one idea i have is why don't you use a language which is very very similar very very familiar to how you know your parents or someone would instruct you in terms of sitting postures and that literally aligns with the mental model here because there is a quick gif over here telling them how is it that they can sit okay so i think in this way i can create better impact maybe some people want to have more details there might be a video so most probably what i'll do is i'll probably resolve this in my testing stages right now we don't have time to go and do testing and obviously these are not even high fidelity uh, you know mock ups that i can go to users and test but what i can definitely do is if at all i have time if i build these wireframes i can quickly do an aib test a qualitative aib test is what i can go and confirm and get insights about how people are reacting to this and how is that people are reacting to this based on that i can go and take decisions in terms of whether this quick gif will help them or whether people would want more details and be taught about it or maybe both how is that both can actually integrate in this one platform and how the product can be built right so yes so with this i can say that uh, i have solved all three problems i also have a way in terms of what is that i'll test with my users i'll also go and test all my other assumptions in terms of i i also see some sensitivities coming here which i will define in my testing stage i'll write this down here okay and the sensitivity is being uh, are people concerned about privacy when they use this app over other apps okay so are people concerned about their battery life because this is something which keeps running right and i will also assume that the battery saver apps would keep on showing that this app is something which is running in your background and it will keep saying that please shut down this app there's a common behavior which i know but i would definitely want to understand what are the sensitivities of people around these concerns and maybe more i'll come up with if i have more time but definitely battery life and privacy are something which are pressing issues because i feel this kind of de defines whether we can literally go with this solution or not because if people are concerned about privacy they will still not go and do this if they are concerned about battery life they will not give us permission to continuously keep running and this whole thing cannot actually work if at all 
what i'll do right now is because i still have a little bit of amount of time what i'll do is if at all i find sensitivities about this in my user testing what i'll do is i'll build something which is not something which will literally go and run on the background but what i'll do is i will build this screen where i will ask people to actually literally hold their phone and start typing some dummy messages start showing some social media posts social media posts not of theirs but i'll kind of create some dummy posts i'll show dummy social media posts i will also have certain you know uh i'll also have certain games it is see in this way i'll make a wizard or an interactive experience which people will actually go and perform in my own app this is not going to be about an overlay on other apps but let us say this whole exercise is going to be for 10 minutes it's literally going to be like a game you're going to show on some posts they will like them or subscribe them whatever whatever you'll play certain games which are pretty time games you can get the mental model about about this from going and uh, benchmarking your mobile phones okay benchmarking tests if you have seen are some things they have certain activities which are performed within the app and finally they give results about your performance of your phone i'm bringing that mental model over here to actually go and solve this problem and finally after doing all these things i'll have a screen where i'll quickly show these are this is the score score of a uh, posture probably i'll have a nice illustration depicting you know in what all areas i'll probably have a graph or an illustration sorry i'll probably have a graph or an illustration which kind of you know shows uh which kind of shows how is it that how do i rank in my posture how much properties compared to a lot of other people and all that stuff okay this will probably be my results screen which will the score of the posture and these illustrations and all this stuff is also going to have the, the screen is going to have quick videos i'm also going to have this quick videos and sitting postures and all this over here so that people understand their score and keep checking how their posture is but i see i see the cons so i also don't want to discuss about the cons i've also discussed about the cons of this when i am actually going and doing usability tests for this second approach as well what i would want to understand is will this just be a one time activity because once i do the score why will i be motivated to go and take this test again and again so given the time i would actually spend the time and see how is that people can keep returning back to us so that we can have certain retention and people can maybe subscribe to our product and be our users and also keep spending more time on this thereby impacting our conversion metrics and session length metrics right so yep this is what i have in the half an hour or 40 minutes which is given to me yeah amazing right and look at my look at my screen it's like all very rough there's no definition nothing but because you participated in this whiteboard session along with me you absolutely know how is it that i am thinking or what kind of thoughts do i really have how do i validate stuff how do i apply the design thinking process how much can i you know zoom in zoom out zoom in zoom out in the sense if i have less time how much will i do if i have more time how much will i do and all this stuff right so i i hope this demo literally helps all of you guys right if you if you read the initial postulates can someone read the postulates swati can you read it you just read down them once right whiteboarding is to judge thought process not results it is so yeah could you judge my thought process yes 
right it clearly happened because i was thinking aloud right very good it was not about the exact result right you don't know whether that will exactly work or not and you don't know whether what exactly is present in the screens but you know that how i'm thinking right now right it's happening very good next kavya it is not about what is sitting on the whiteboard but yes. more about driving the narrative correct right it was not about what is sitting on the whiteboard because the whiteboard was very rough there is literally you know if you, if i just give you a whiteboard if my whiteboard to you you will not make anything out of it after the whiteboard session is over right but you clearly understood my narrative very 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 well because i was using that whiteboard to drive my narrative right the story while i was building it you were able to relate very much with it right next point the extent of the process to be followed depends on the time yes you saw that i had all i had that is at 45 minutes is what i thought about giving myself and then i followed the entire process i followed how is that i'll understand the users how is that i'll understand the problem statement what all the problems which i'll define for the users how is that my what what all ideas i'll be working on i made a prototype right and i also spoke about how is that i'll test with the users i followed the entire process but i decided all this to be happening within the time frame which i have and everywhere i stated that if i have more time i'll do this because i don't have time i will only do this much right that also happened next it is not about perfection it is not about perfection wonderful right there is nothing perfect sitting over here right it was very imperfect but you found a perfect candidate yes so <laughs> right awesome awesome okay guys so 